Good beautiful morning everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Today we are having another early start because we are going on a long drive to somewhere. So if you want to see where we're going, stay tuned because it's going to be fun and exciting. So see you soon. editing this I've kind of realized that I wasn't talking about a whole lot what was actually going on here so basically when we got there we were wandering around for a little bit and we couldn't find anyone so I went just for a quick walk to see if I could find a reception desk or something and I couldn't find anything and while we were waiting we had these two dogs come over to us um that little black one is called bear and he straight away just gave us his pine cone to throw so while we were waiting we were just throwing that lucy loved it she loves dogs well she loves all animals really but um yeah it just got to a point that i had to try and call someone to find out what to do where to go who to speak to and when I got to the lady on the phone, she explained that the admin lady was just under a lot of stress and she mixed up the times and so they weren't aware that we were supposed to be there for nine. So anyway, that's pretty much what's happening here. We're just waiting around for the lady and she does eventually come, which is what's going to be in the next clip. And it's going to be the tour that she takes us on throughout the venue. So um, in winter, obviously, the fire, plant, the fire will be in for you guys. So yeah. We don't pull the fire out until around October. Yeah. And what we do here is all these tables and chairs get pushed along to the sides. Yep. And then you bring the cake table that's over there into the middle. So okay. So it's right in the foyer. Yeah. And yep. it's really nice. That time of year, you've actually got a really nice, warm, cosy place to have your canapes. Yeah, yeah. So it works really nicely. Um, so this is all this time, right? It does. We've got a lot of different table plans that you can use. So you can sit in with your guests if you want yep. to. Or what we can do is put a little small garden table up in front of the fireplace. Okay. And then you can have two rows. So it almost sounds like a U-shot. So this is the ruins. Yeah. That's quite lovely. And you get really nice sun in the afternoons. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So it's nice yeah. and comfy and things like that. It's got a very simple bathroom, bedroom.
very careful with them. Lucy, be careful. Yeah, they don't like to be touched, honey. It's a turtle, yeah. Hi. Come on. So what did you think of the farm? Yeah, it was really nice. Yeah. yeah. Like really nice. Um, I think it's just going to come down to budget. Um, yeah. Yeah, she's going to send us through like a proper, like total price of everything that mm. we want, all the inclusions and everything like that. But we think in terms of the budget, it's going to come to like right on the line of where our budget is. Yes. It'll probably come to like the max of the max. And we've still got to get photographers, videographers, and other things. Yeah. The dress, the tuxedo, hair and makeup. Yeah. Uh, for that place, we might end up needing a car as well, depending on if we stay on site or not. But no, we left the farm and now we've come to just a lake. It was probably about like a 20 minute drive from the farm. And we're at the lake and, um, it was a really nice walk. It was very relaxed and just felt really good. Yeah, a fair amount do. of sorry, fair amount of people, but they were very relaxed mm. and nice. And, yeah. yeah. So now we're just gonna go get some lunch and probably start heading home. Hopefully, Lucy has a bit of a sleep on the way back. She had a very small nap on the way here, but I think it was only about 10, 15 minutes. So, yeah. fingers crossed, she has a sleep on the way back, so she's not too whingy or bored. But I'm hoping. We let her have a bit of a run around at the farm, and now I'm hoping with the walk here at the lake. Um, hopefully that's helped tie her out a little bit. Mm. So, anyway, let's continue on with our journey, and then... Still got so much other things to do today, so... <laughs> bit of a busy one. Alright, let's keep going. <laughs> Finally made it back. Well, not really home, but... Hometown. <laughs> And Lucy really wants to watch something, that's why I can probably hear her, but we're now just looking for some more clothes for me because I've just got no pants or shorts or anything really. So now we're just looking for more clothes for me. And now we're finally home. We've, um, I got the few bits of shorts and pants that I needed and they're okay, they're all right. I'm actually really fussy when it comes to pants because if it's low waist, anything with a button or a zipper is extremely uncomfortable from my C-section scar. And I, I'm slowly getting used to wearing high-waisted, but I find high-waisted very sensory uncomfortable, if that makes any sort of sense. It has to... I don't know, I do get used to the feeling after a little while, but it's like... So when people wear clothes, obviously it feels like they're not wearing clothes anymore because they get used to the feeling of it. Whereas with high-waisted pants for myself, I can continuously feel the feeling. The feeling never goes away and it can. it's just a bit irritating, but I'm slowly getting used to it because there's really not many options in terms of pants that are not high-waisted these days. Pretty much everything is. And if it's not high-waisted, it has a button and I can't wear buttons low-waisted. So, very, very difficult for me to find pants. I usually just go for, like, leggings, but they wear down really, really quickly. And I end up replacing them, like, 
just about once a month. So anyway, I found myself some jean shorts and a pair of pants that will be good for work and just the shorts will just be good for um, like everyday sort of wear. So anyway, we're now just putting away some shopping and after that we're going to be going to mum's for her birthday barbecue so we'll probably see you at mum's yeah. with jackson because he's with mum at the moment So just while we're waiting for Ryan to get ready to go tonight, I thought I'll just put on one of my old videos for Lucy to watch because she loves watching Mummy and Daddy on the TV. And it's now just like crazy storm out there. But then again, like I absolutely love storms. Storms are one of my favorite things ever. I just find them super relaxing. I know a lot of people actually get quite scared of the thunder and the lightning. Like. I can see how it would be a little bit scary, especially in a little person. I love them. I absolutely love storms. I find them relaxing. I could sleep through a storm so easily. And I've actually just noticed that our lights just flickered a little bit, so I really hope we don't lose power. I mean, we're not gonna be here for much longer anyway, but still, it wouldn't be very nice to lose power. But, um. Hey Lucy, why is mummy's dress on the floor? Where's mummy's dress? <laughs> I have literally only just noticed that the dress I'm putting on tonight is on the floor right here. How did it get here? Did you do it? Did you put mummy's dress on the floor? Your shoe? <laughs> Are you silly? You silly. She really is a silly one, but we love her. Not sure about Ryan. Ooh. That was a big one. <laughs> So, not sure on Ryan what he's like, where he is in the top tier of where he wants to go. He's kind of just going with the flow at the moment. Um, I won't quite get his input right now because he is half naked. So, <laughs> I mean, he can always talk behind the camera. I don't have to show him. Yeah, yeah. I, can, I can confirm I am indeed half naked. <laughs> I meant, like, what's your vision for the wedding? Mostly. Pretty straightforward, just want it to be, go off without a hitch, um, and get it for the best budget that we can. It's definitely my biggest thing is the budget, so, yeah. Yeah, so he's pretty much just going with the flow at the moment, as long as it's not like exorbitantly expensive. Yeah, because this but... first one does sound a bit expensive, so. We'll yeah, I, some numbers and see. I don't think it's too overly priced. As we mentioned before, but yeah, we'll just have to I, compare. I, yeah, I do really like the look of the place. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. There's a bit of thunder. Yeah. Scaring Lucy. It's, I think it's her first time hearing some proper thunder. Yeah, especially this big. We have had thunder before, but it's only been it's never it been, been this like loud this. Yeah. that yeah. she's ever experienced. So. 
I mean, like, oh. that is the only place that we've looked at so far. We do have another Jeez. viewing next week, so stay tuned for that video Jeez. when we go. And Earring. we'll probably be able to make a proper comparison yeah. after we've been to that viewing. Every time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Check if they're tail. I think they're tailing now. Ugh. I don't know if you can see those little droplets just there. One of the sewage drains just across the street is flooded. It's a bit hard to see because it's so like... The camera is not actually out of focus. It's just it is raining that much. <laughs> now we are going to finally get ready to go to my mom's. I might actually give Lucy a very quick bath because she didn't get to have one last night. She's a little bit grubby and sweaty just from the day because it's been so muggy and gross. So I'm going to give her a quick bath and I'm pretty sure she's... Got a little present for me in her nappy anyway, so... <laughs> Oh, we're coming, we're looking at other dresses! <laughs> 